We're speaking with Jill Even, who's a project manager for Wayne Sweepers, and that's a, they're a component of Wayne Engineering, well known for refuse truck line. And they have a new sweeper they call the Gladiator. They brought a very showy black uh, model here with the, the red and, and silver stripe. And so, Jill, um, welcome on behalf of all the World Sweeper uh, watchers. And uh, let's tell me, if you would, about your sweeper. Let's start off here at the gutter room. Okay. 44-inch five-segment um, gutter room. We're able to control the down pressure, speed of the rotation, um, tilt from the in-cab controls. Um, we have an air purge system on the unit to clear out the water line. Basically, that is run off of our chassis air um, so that you can do it right here. You don't have to hook a compressor up to the machine. Nice. Let's talk about your uh, lift system here. What are we? We're okay, seeing we have two twin cylinders. Twin cylinder um, scissors lift for the um, four cubic yard volumetric cubic yard hopper. Mm -hmm. um, it's a high dump. We have uh, 11 and a half foot um, from the bottom of the hopper door, so that you're able to dump into. Uh, what, pretty much whatever you want to. Yeah, exactly. Or you're able to dump from ground level as well. Okay. Um, we have some chromium carbide um, sh drag shoes that are basically um, very resistant to abrasion and um, the force. Mm -hmm. We have a John Deere uh, 5030 five cylinder diesel engine. We also have a 12 volt pump on the unit in case the hydraulic system would go down when you're out on the site so that we can go into the cab, they're able to push a button and lift the gutter brooms, lift the brooms up, um, dump the hopper so that they can get off the job site if there is um, difficulty on the job site. Mm -hmm. um, All right. On this side. We have 340 gallon water tanks um, on the unit. Um, we also, the machine is basically fully um, hydraulics. We have a hydraulic water pump um, on the unit, and we also have a hydro pool, which basically is our um, hydraulic reservoir and cooler all in one. So we're able to have less hydraulic fluid on the um, machine. There's. Um, so it's only around 20 gallons it's of about hydraulic. 20 gallons, yes. Uh, Normally, uh, the average um, is about. 70-gallon unit. So if there is a hose break or something that occurs out there, you would lose a lot less of the hydraulic mm -hmm. fluid. That's uh, uh, clever to cool that, uh, cool your hydraulics in, instead, and mm -hmm. uh, there's less uh, money down for replacement costs, of course, right. at that point too. Um, we have all LED lightings all the way around the the unit. Um, and it's a multiplex system. Can you tell me just uh, briefly what? That entails? Um, the multiplexing system basically is our is the electrical um, aspect of the truck. Um, it requires less wiring, but it's a little more, um, I would say, um, they're looking basically for when you're able to program it and do diagnostic testing right mm -hmm. from the laptop, um, you'll be able to program it to say when you put the truck in reverse, it automatically um, runs through a sequence that if all this stuff is done, then you're able to go into reverse. Instead right. of dumping the hopper, you have to be on level ground before it'll even... So you can program in uh, when, when one function operates, what other things have to be up, down, open, close, and, and correct. so forth. And yeah. The other good thing about it is the diagnostics. If something would go wrong, you're able to plug in and check and see where the failure is occurring at, so you don't have to um, guess and look at mm -hmm. several different things before you actually find... Or as we say in the sweeping industry, yeah. when it goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what sweepers do. They break. Uh, it's a it's a tough uh, tough business out there. Let's go uh, take a look at your cab uh, area. Okay. At, at the last, I'm going to tuck up, and if you could tell me uh, what I'm looking at here, we have a nice control panel. Looks like there's a yeah, screen of some a sort. Central co control panel. We have a camera system on the unit that um, currently our standard two-camera black-and-white system. Um, currently, we do have the option for um, the flat-screen um, LED screen. Mm -hmm. um, Split-screen, you're able to have up to four cameras on it. Um, we only would have three right now on each gutter broom and okay. on the rear. But it's also um, audio so that you could hear in the back if there was a child or something back there. And oh, that's... Uh-huh. Um, 
and then below the video camera is actually um, our control lighting light bar that with the indicators, you know, low mm -hmm. um, water, uh, high temperature, your hydraulic temperature. All your senders. Yep, all your sensors and stuff okay. like that. Um, it also points out that, you know, if you're driving down the road and you happen to bump a, a switch and your gutter broom drops or something, it'll say, you know, right gutter broom is down, that sort of thing, and it'll send off a signal. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Uh, if you would, uh, welcome to Wayne uh, Sweepers for entering the marketplace with a, a nice looking uh, four cubic yard uh, broom sweeper here and uh, certainly already an entrenched uh, dealer network so I'm sure you'll end up being a force to, to reckon with. Uh, tell me how I would take a look at you on a website or some kind of phone number. Um, you can get in touch with me at uh, jeven at wayneusa.com right. or you can contact me. Our phone number is uh, one three one nine. 290-5235. All right. Well, thanks very much, Jill. Thank you.